Welcome to biology. Today we will be discussing the animal cell. We will start off with the cell's outer membrane and the cilia. The cilia are a number of arm-like structures extending from the outer membrane. They assist the cell in feeding and movement. They assist the cell in feeding by increasing the surface area and therefore allowing the cell a greater chance of capturing neighboring molecules in order to feed itself. Okay, now we'll go into our next part. The lipid bilayer. The cell membrane is a double layer of phospholipids containing the brown hydrophilic water-loving heads and the tan, hydrophobic, water-fearing tails. It protects the cell and contains many proteins that perform vital functions. Through the process of osmosis, water can ride freely through the membrane and in and out, while larger molecules require diffusion, which is where it travels through the protein channels, because they're too big just to fuse right through the cell membrane. Another method is active transport, where energy is required to push the object through the cell membrane, such as the sodium-potassium pump. Another vital function of these proteins is to respond to external stimuli, such as smells and hormones. Our next step is the cell's control center, the nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of the cell which houses the DNA, RNA, and chromosomes. The nuclear membrane is a double membrane that protects the nucleus and separates it from the cytoplasm. The nuclear pores act as protein channels, allowing substances to enter and leave the nucleus. The nucleolus is the innermost part of the nucleus. This is where the ribosomes are manufactured. The chromatin are the building blocks of chromosomes. They are what the DNA wraps around to create chromosomes. They are also responsible for preparing the DNA for when the cell splits in mitosis or meiosis. We now continue our journey to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is where ribosomes sit upon as they create proteins using RNA as a template. The proteins are then stored in the rough endoplasmic reticulum until a vesicle comes to take them to the Golgi apparatus for packaging. Next, we go to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, depending upon what types of cells you are in, have various functions. They can produce steroids, metabolize food, or decompose toxins. Unlike its partner, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosomes on it, hence the name. And now we move on to my favorite organelle, the peroxisomes. Peroxisomes are the, oh, what the heck, I don't need these. It's my favorite organelle. Peroxisomes are what break up hydrogen peroxide, a substance created by white blood cells to kill off bacteria. The peroxide molecules crash into the hydrogen peroxides and split them into oxygen and water, thus keeping the cells from killing themselves. From here, we continue to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is what packages, modifies, and sorts and sends out materials to be used either within or without of the cell. Now, time for my favorite crusaders against bacterial evil, the lysosomes. Lysosomes, also known as suicide sacs, 
release a burst of hydrogen peroxide, wiping out bacteria in the general area around them. Unfortunately, they also kill themselves in the process. They also help us to digest our food. So, now on to the intracellular waste bin, the vacuole. The vacuole is the cell storage bin. It can be used to store energy or waste. Pop the war car! It's the mitochondria! The mitochondria is the power plant of the cell. It manufactures the ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This is the fuel used by the body for all its major functions. ATP is made on the electron transport chain. This chain has everything. It's even got a spinner! No, really, it does. The ATP synthase is a space station-like structure that's constantly spinning and is powered by the proton gradient. Did you know you have an atom smasher in your cells? Well, you do. Finally, we come to the cytoskeleton. <laughs> The cytoskeleton is a network of centrioles and microtubules that crisscross throughout the cytoplasm, the jelly-like substance that lies between the organelles. The cytoskeleton is what's responsible for keeping and maintaining the cell shape and assisting it in movement and division. Alas, we have come to the end of our journey throughout the animal cell. Thank you, and good day.